to be honest, uh, it's a bit annoying because I need to, when I register for the government um, uh, approved hotel, I need to wait for three to four hours in Hong Kong. Yeah, because uh, I need to dial the international line and then uh, it keeps asking me to wait patiently. And then um, my friends in Vancouver also dialed the toll-free Canadian line at the same time for, for me, uh, um, so that we, I can have more chances to, to uh, get connected. And then I finally got the uh, reservation is maybe up in the, at around 4, 4 a.m. Uh, in the morning, yeah. I think uh, it's, um, I, I understand the, the procedure. So I think the price is uh, acceptable. Yeah, but um, uh, because I I I have already uh, uh, booked another hotel for 14 days quarantine, so I think it's a kind of redundant. I I don't think the, the price is too high, but I think uh, this policy, I mean free free nights policy, is is a bit redundant. Uh, if we are going to have 14 days isolation, uh, how can we still have this uh, free nights uh, uh, quarantine? Yeah. In Hong Kong, I have to do it within uh, 72 hours, and then uh, I uh, I just did another one in Vancouver. Uh, I'm coming back to Vancouver to to study, but also my my family will come back. Uh, so actually, we we are moving back to Vancouver. Uh, I think the Canadian government um, may have a better system, like um, set up a a website or something, uh, so that. All, all the travelers uh, from around the world can uh, log in that website and then uh, just uh, book the hotel online instead of waiting for four hours or more to uh, wait for a voice to talk to you and then uh, do all the reservation procedures.